What's up? This is your boy Lucky Loco. I really appreciate you guys tapping in. And this the story of uh, Kenny took off like wildfire, man. I really appreciate that. So I got a couple stories. Let's break it down to increments. Okay, so the first chomo that moves into that I started recognizing Kenny's hustle. So Kenny starts moving in with these chomos, right? And he starts torturing them. The one I know about is the one I was telling you about with the phone books. He's about the same age, maybe a little bit younger. So he moves him in. He starts grooming the guy. He starts, you know, telling him, hey, man, you know, all these people know about your charges. And, and pretty much everybody does because when you come through the um, system, it's an inmate that houses you and comes by and puts your name and DOC number on your door. So everybody already knows about your charges. You're already in and A and O. You're coming through, so people are going to recognize you. And so Kenny gets a breakdown. He gets a hookup, and he he moves in with dude. So like I said, he started torturing the guy. He starts beating him, and like I said, he was you could hear him like thumping the guy. Okay, and this is in South Unit. You could, you could hear a little bit, but if you like turn your TV down, it's it's quiet at night. But you can hear him, like, just just get in the guy. So the guy's trying to scream, and that's when he started stuffing uh, toilet paper in his mouth. And he said the guy was like, oh, I'm having a nightmare. That's why I said the, the trauma's worst nightmare. And so he's like, oh, blah, 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 stuffing uh, toilet paper down his mouth. And he's like, oh, I'm having a nightmare. And yeah, your worst fucking nightmare, motherfucking bitch. And, and so he's toying with this guy he's like it's like cat and mouse like through the whole like the whole term so he's making the guy buy stuff he's making a buy stuff for him um the guy gets like minimal food of like these 50 dollar uh sacks that are coming through uh he makes him order a tv makes him order uh what other coffee pot and all these other little stuff that is that you know kenny doesn't have so Kenny's over here torturing the guy, beating the crap out of him, but he's using phone books. So he goes and um, the guy's trying to check in. But for some reason, these guards aren't really acknowledging this chomo. I wonder why, okay? So he's trying to check in. He's trying to do all this stuff. And he was like, he, you know, he was like... Um, he was like, hey, there's a there's a cell open. Uh, do you think they're going to let me move in there? And he was like, I don't know. Get the fuck out of here then. Go see see how it is. Uh, see how long you last with, the, with other inmates. And so the guy moves his bed and everything in there. And the doors close. Count time. And so these guards come up and they're like, what the hell? Where's so-and-so? I can't remember the chomo's name, nor do I give a shit. But he's like... Where is this guy? And he's like, I don't know. And then they like put, you know, they start looking around and like, what the hell? What are you doing in this cell? <laughs> he was like, I wanted to move. You guys won't move me. <laughs> oh man! So they move him back into Kenny's room. So Kenny beats him some more. <laughs> Torture this fucking trouble. Oh my god! It was just comical. Just you can hear it, right? Especially when you're trying to hear it. Because, you know, Kenny is a little stocky dude, you know, he was, he was always, like, he was always in the mix with these guys, okay? So, as it goes on, he's, he, the guy finally fucking checks in, and the guards finally move him, because, you know, Kenny's doing the most to him, is, uh, Kenny's really not protecting the guy no more. So Kenny is the protection of this dude, as long as he keeps paying him, as long as he puts up with the torture, as long as he puts up with the beatings. Um, I asked Kenny if he was doing stuff to him. And Kenny was like, no, nah, I'm not no, you know, whatever. He goes, uh, I just like, I like beating these dudes up. I like torturing them. I like, you know, I was just like, okay, because, you know, I just thought Kenny was in there getting his issue too. I was like, man, Kenny, you're not in there. You know, but apparently he says no. So and I didn't hear them type of screams at night. Because when you're in prison, you do hear those screams. If when the victim does get victimized in there. 
And I got a couple stories about them too. But the first one, yeah, he was... First one after when I started hanging out with him, he was torturing him. He was beating him with phone books. He was getting the guy. So I'm going to go drink some coffee. I'm going to get some more motivation in me. I got to go out in the food truck. And I'll come up with a couple more stories. I'll write them down because I tend to, you know, I run a food truck. And I'm going to be working at the casino soon. Uh, but I do have one coming up. I'll probably make it right now about uh, justice for a victim in Pueblo, Colorado. So stay tuned, comment. Uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, if you like, don't like, let me know what's going on. If you want to hear some more stories about it, and the honest truth of how um, SOs are treated in, in, in the Colorado prison system, let me know.